Good morning, I'm Pastor Allen, and it's Wednesday, August 5th, and today we're doing our daily Bible study, but I'm going to do it in a little bit different format. We're going to look at the three passages in the Bible, because yesterday I talked about binding and loosening, binding on earth, and loosening in heaven. And that's mentioned three places in the Bible, twice in Matthew's Gospel, and then once in the Gospel of John. So we're going we're gonna to look at that. When we look at binding and loosening, we'll, we'll see it in context and we'll know exactly what the Bible is trying to tell us. Because with it being mentioned in three places in the Bible, and one of them being in the church discipline part of Matthew chapter 18, we have an important part to play in it and an important part to make sure that the church does correctly. So let's go back and look at the three passages of Scripture. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16, verse 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And then Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, verse 18. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And then John's Gospel, chapter 20, verse 23. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. And so what we're looking at is what does the Bible mean? What are these passages saying to us when it talks about binding and loosing? Well, this concept, as we see, is taught in Matthew and also in John. We first see it in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 16. And in this verse, Peter is taught, I'm sorry, Jesus is talking directly to Peter and indirectly to the other apostles. And Jesus' words to Peter are saying that Peter would have the right, the apostles would have the right, and later on we would have the right to enter into the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. And how the kingdom of heaven opens to other people is through the preaching of the gospel. It is through the evangelism or the go and tell of people the good news about Jesus. And by telling, it opens heaven to all believers, and by not telling, it closes heaven to all believers. Now, is that the full meaning of it? No, because we see it also in Matthew's Gospel, verse 18, where it talks about church discipline. Now, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, verse 18, there's also a reference to the binding and loosening in the context of church discipline. And see, the apostles did not take over Christ's authority over individual believers and their eternal destiny. They do exercise authority over discipline and they could excommunicate or put out of the church disobedient church members. Same thing applies for us. Only Jesus can forgive sins. Only Jesus can allow people to go into heaven. But we have some authority here on earth to decide who's going to be a church member, if they're going to remain a church member after sinning. The apostles weren't given the privilege of changing God's mind. We're not given the privilege of changing God's mind through prayer. 
you know, if we decide something here on earth, then God's going to say, well, okay, I guess they decided that down there, so I have to do that up in heaven. It is not saying that. God is still sovereign. God is still in control. But we do have the authority to discipline church members. And we do have the authority to the church. And the leaders have the authority to excommunicate or get those who are sinning out of the church. Whenever the apostles bound something or whenever we bind something or say it's not allowed on earth, we are supposed to be carrying out the will of God. When they loose something or allowed it on earth, they were, we are doing God's eternal plan. It's, you can see it more so in the, in the Greek text that this is carrying out and supposed to be carrying out God's will and God's plan. See, the Amplified Bible puts it this way. Whatever you bind or forbid or declare to be improper and unlawful on earth will have already been bound in heaven, and whatever you loose, permit, or declare lawful on earth will have already been loosed in heaven. So the Amplified Bible gives us some, some words in, in brackets that expand, that expound on the meaning of the Greek. And so I hope that you see that. Forbid or declare to be improper. And see, that is the church's role for people in the church. We should be declaring things that are improper, that are sins, unlawful on the earth. And if we loose them or permit or declare them lawful, then we have already loosed them in heaven. See, the apostles and us, we have a special task here on earth. We have the words of authority that are written in the New Testament, and those reflect God's will for the church. So the Bible is trying to tell us something. It is God's will for us, not only for our lives, but also to apply to the church. And we know, and if we're not sure, we look in the Bible and it will correct our, correct our behavior. It will point us in the right direction on the things the church should be doing and the things the church should not be doing. And so God has authorized the church to act on the authority of heaven. What we do here, binding, loosening, that comes because of God's authority. And God's authority has given that to us. And so we can act on church discipline. Now, the unrepentant person, or the one who is sinning, or the one who is not obeying the Bible, has already left God's way and cannot be restored without repentance. And that's the whole point of Matthew's passage in chapter 18. That's what we talked about yesterday. It's to get the un the the unrepentant to get the sinner, the one in the wrong, to get them to repent and to come back into the church and the church fellowship. Jesus has given us the authority to help to make that happen. Ultimately, it's going to come down to Jesus and the Holy Spirit convincing the person. But we have a vital, important first step to make that happen. And once the sinner is removed from the Christian community, the church will be healthier 
the church will be better because it is following God's will. It is doing what God wants the church to do. And it is following the Bible. Ultimately, it comes down to forgiveness. Only God can forgive sins. We have the authority. The church has the authority to declare what is sin, to declare that a person is following God's will, following the Bible, by whether they either accept or reject his son. And ultimately, that's what binding and loosening comes down to. You either accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or you reject him. There is no in-between. And if you accept him, then you need to do, you want to do, what the Bible tells us to do. Because that's part of having a relationship with Jesus. Have a great day. Talk to you later.